is in full swing, and I don't know about you guys, but my patio is kind of a hot mess right now. I got my patio furniture last season at a drugstore, and while I got it for a really good price, let's be honest, the patterns on those cushions are really bad, and it's bothered me ever since. So I decided to create no sew canvas drop cloth covers, which are really simple to make, and it just gives it more of that modern high-end look. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. For this project, you're going to need a canvas drop cloth, and I used a six by nine foot cloth, which was enough to cover one bench and two chair cushions. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, some iron-on adhesive tape, sticky back Velcro made for fabric, chalk, a ruler, and an iron. Start by folding the canvas drop cloth in half lengthwise so the wrong side of the fabric is facing out. Line up the front of the cushions along the folded edge, leaving a few inches of space in between them. Hold the ruler up to the edge of the cushion to see how deep it is. And then use this measurement to mark all around the cushion with chalk, except for on the folded edge. Cut the fabric along the chalk line following all around the cushion, but don't cut the fabric along the folded edge. Leave that edge intact. Insert the cushion into the fabric so that the front end is along the folded edge and the back end is open. Smooth out the fabric and make sure all of the edges are aligned. Cut a strip of iron-on adhesive tape to fit along the straight edge on both sides of the cushion. Lift the top flap of the fabric up and place the strip of adhesive tape along the side of the cushion so the paper side is facing up, and then press it into place for a few seconds with an iron set to medium heat. Repeat this on the other side of the cushion as well. Then remove the cushion and peel the paper off both strips of adhesive tape. Refold the fabric and smooth it out, making sure the edges are aligned. Then iron both strips of adhesive tape into place on each side for about 10 seconds with medium heat. Allow the adhesive tape to cool for a few minutes and then turn the cushion cover right side out. Carefully insert the cushion into the cushion cover and work it all the way down slowly smoothing the cushion as you go. Turn the cushion around so the opening in the back is facing you. Fold the fabric on the bottom raw edge over by about half an inch, folding in the corners as well. And then press the folds into place with a hot iron. Press one side of the sticky back Velcro pieces along the folded edge, spacing them about a half an inch apart all the way down. You could also use one long strip of Velcro. Then pull the top part of the fabric down snugly towards the bottom and stick the opposing side of the sticky back Velcro pieces where they match up with the bottom pieces. Do this all along the top part of the fabric and then join the bottom and top pieces of Velcro together all the way across. Squeeze the Velcro pieces together tightly to make sure they're firmly adhered to the fabric. And there you go, you now have a no-sew canvas drop cloth cover that is removable and washable. If you live in a really hot area and are worried the Velcro won't withstand the heat, you can do a closed seam instead. Simply press the top and bottom flaps in by a quarter inch and press a strip of iron-on adhesive tape along the top edge. Peel off the paper backing, insert the cushion, and press the seam together with a flat iron instead of a regular iron. Pull the fabric tight while it cools for a few seconds as you work the flat iron down the seam. And that is it! You now have either a removable Velcro cushion cover or a closed seam cover to update your patio from drab to fab.